In this video, I'm going to show you what to do when your business hits a decline. In fact, I want to expand on that. This one exercise or even frame of reference or perspective that I'm going to show you is what to do not only when your business hits a decline, maybe it's a cliff, maybe it's a gentle slope down, maybe it's just a small stepping stone, small stairs going down, or maybe even you're at the top of the life cycle curve. Hi, I'm Tamara Gondor. I'm the pioneer of human-centered innovation, combining neuroscience, behavioral psychology, and 25 years of work and experience to come together to create the human-centered innovation field. I'm the creator of the proprietary Innovation Quotient Edge Assessment, the only tool that helps you discover your unique style and strength of innovation, what type of everyday innovator you are, I'm the author of two best-selling books, Innovation is Everybody's Business and Think Sideways, host of the top-rated podcast with Tamara Gondor, where I get to interview everyday innovators from across the globe. And hey, maybe that's you and you'll be on my next podcast. I'm an advisor to leading Fortune 500 organizations on fostering innovative ideas, building innovators, and solving their biggest challenges, award-winning keynote speaker, and as a kid in computer camp, I won the I'll Try Anything Once Award, which is a motto I still try to live by. Here's something I'd like you to consider. Every leader, every product brand, every business, even every industry has a life cycle. We see this time and time again in our case studies. And you know, it starts with that acceleration, growth, building up to success. Hopefully you're on the top of success for a long time, but Inevitably, the decline comes. And like I said, it might be a cliff or it might be a gentle slope down, but none of us can avoid the decline. And what the most successful leaders and businesses have discovered is that what we've got to do to avoid that decline is to innovate. To avoid that red curve down, we need to innovate, jump the curve, and find new paths to success. So what I want to talk to you about today and the kind of the exercise that I want you to work through is called jumping the curve. And what I mean by that is when you are maybe even at the top of your game or you start to feel the pressures of the marketplace, customer expectation, competition, when that starts to shift, that's when I want you to consider not just innovating on the curve that you're on, but actually jumping the curve to new paths of success. And when you leverage your everyday innovator style, it will help you find those innovative solutions to get there. If you haven't taken the assessment yet, I encourage you to go do so. Because in jumping the curve, we'll find new paths to success, we'll get on a new life cycle, and we will avoid that steep decline. Here's the thing. If we want to stay on the life cycle that we're on, which inevitably leads to that red curve down, what I often find is that we innovate on the how and the what, right? How we do business, how we provide solutions to our customers, what we provide, what we do. But the key to jumping the curve to new paths to success, to continued relevance, to continue leadership advantage is to innovate off the benefit that we provide. And oftentimes that benefit isn't necessarily what you think it is. Let me give you an example of this. This is an email I got from a company called Avid, Advent, Avid for Adventure. Now, this is a program that would take kids out into the outdoors and do these camps, day, week-long programs where kids would go out, right? And they would explore the outdoors. They would learn about it. They would get curious about nature. They would enjoy their experience. Well, as you can imagine in 2020, things changed. They no longer could do their program. So they had to figure out how to jump the curve to find new paths to success because the how and the what of what they were doing was not only not working, but it wasn't even allowed for a period of time there. So here's what they did. They innovated off the benefit because the benefit they provide isn't just the how and the what. The how and the what is the camps, the programs, nature. What they really provided is in this last line of this email I got from them, a customized experience that brings fun, engagement, and passion to learning. That's what they provide. And with that benefit, they discovered that they could create learning pods for parents who had kids at home. So they took the benefit of what they provide. They had the resources to make it happen and they jumped the curve to find new paths to success. The key 
in staying relevant and staying ahead and navigating the changing volatile times that we're in, especially when customer expectations are drastically shifting, new competition is coming in from all sides at a faster rate, technology and AI, the great resignation. As all of this is happening, the key to finding success is to understand the benefit that you really provide and then to innovate off of that. And my one last suggestion to you here, just as a bonus for staying on and sticking through this whole video, is a question that I'd love for you to ask your customers or your clients, because I think oftentimes we think we know what they would say, we think we know the answer, but oftentimes they surprise us. So what I want you to ask is, hey, what challenges or problems do you face today that you didn't face six months ago? And in fact, there's a follow-up question to that, which is if you were to articulate, if you were to tell me what we provide, what would that be? How would you describe what we do? That first question is gonna get you to understand where they are and what their needs are today. And the second question is gonna help you understand what benefit do you really provide? Jump the curve to new paths to success.